Hi, this paradigm shift is about the complacency continuum and when versus what. It's only natural to think about what somebody was doing if they get hurt, but there really isn't much of a pattern for what, because if you think about it, we've all been hurt doing pretty much anything, whether it's walking, running, driving, riding, cooking, you name it, we've all said ouch or something worse way too many times. So if you concede that the what isn't really the issue, then figuring out when, when will we have these defenseless moments when both our eyes and our mind aren't on task at exactly the same time? Figuring out when becomes the crux of the matter. Now we know it'll probably be after that first stage of complacency where our mind starts to wander because the fear or the skill is no longer preoccupying and we know that those moments of defenselessness will most likely continue to increase as somebody passes through the second stage. We also know that all errors by definition are unexpected, however, the states that cause the critical errors are actually quite predictable. The key is to think about when any one of those four states or a combination would likely be affecting you and then set an alarm so that you can rate your state at that time. And that way you can also think about the intensity of each of those states and how the combination of those states could affect the overall risk. So, do you and your coworkers think about all four states and the intensity of all four states before you start a new task where there might be a higher level of hazardous energy present?